Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to manage two or more Ledger Nano hardware wallets with one copy of Ledger Live. So let's get started. A lot of people ask me, how do I manage multiple can I manage multiple devices in one copy of Ledger Live? And the answer is yes. So I'm gonna demo that for you. What I'm gonna show you is that I'll, I'll disconnect this guy. Now, every single account that I have in this uh, Ledger Live is uh, associated with that Ledger Nano X that I just updated, right? Um, now, ooh, almost knocked my camera over. I also have this ledger device, which belongs to my son. And uh, I set aside a little crypto for him. I wish it could have been more. Maybe I'll have an opportunity to give him more down the road. But I have this other device that also has crypto on it. So how can I manage this device in this copy of Ledger Live? Well, let me show you. Well, all I have to do is connect it and enter my pin. This device isn't as used as my other device, so it's a little more fresh. <laughs> it's got like, it's the, the readout is crisper. The button is more clicky. All right, so this device that's been in the closet for um, about a year uh, has some crypto on there. And I'd like to see what's on there and manage it in my Ledger Live. So unfortunately, I, I mean, I could kind of uh, manage multiple instances of Ledger Live. Uh, I've talked about that. Uh, and that's a little cumbersome because you would have to kind of keep replacing folders in your app data folder, uh, renaming them and doing weird stuff. That it, which it's kind of hacky. Right. Or I could have another copy of I could create another Windows account on this machine and install Ledger Live in my other Windows account when it will have a different preferences folder. But I'll just go ahead and say, look, I got one copy of Ledger Live. I have two devices. How do I manage these two devices in one copy of Ledger Live? So I've got the device attached. Let's go up to add account. And look, well, the first clue is that there's a Bitcoin app on that on this device. So let's look for Bitcoin. And it wants me to open the Bitcoin app. I'll click both buttons and it's going to scan the device for any existing wallets. If it finds a wallet, it'll offer me the opportunity to add it to Ledger Live. And it will also give me the option of adding an empty account, which I won't do. All right, so I'm going to add this account to my Ledger Live. Now, uh, once I do that, this account will always be tied to this device because this is the device that is attached at the moment. So Ledger Live will always remember the device you use to create an account in Ledger Live. But I won't, right? I may not. I'll get an error message if I try to access it and that can be frustrating. So the better strategy is for me to name this account accordingly so I will remember that it's not my device, it's the other device, right? We'll just call this Bitcoin uh, Alex, right? Because it belongs to him. So this is just one way of doing it, right? We'll hit add account. And now I've got a Bitcoin account associated with Alex. Now I could call this uh, Ledger X Alex to let me know it's a different device. That might help too, because I could call, uh, I could I could separate a, a Bitcoin account on my GoTo device that is only for Alex too. So let's go ahead and call this one uh, Alex's Ledger. Right, X. Right. That makes it a little even clearer that that's what this account is. So if I ever go to this account and decide to send some Bitcoin out, I will know, oh, I better go get Alex's device because this account is associated with Alex's device. Now let's go ahead and see what else is on there. Um, there's, if we go back to the main screen, 
uh, you can see that there's a Doge and Ethereum app on there. So it makes sense that I should check for some Ethereum and some Doge, right? I got to empty, uh, open the Ethereum app. It's going to scan the device looking for any existing wallets. And there it found that. So let's do the same thing here. All right, that's an Ethereum account that belongs to Alex's ledger. And let's go ahead and uh, I know he has some Doge on there. All right, we'll do that. Now it wants me to open the Doge app. And we'll call this one Alex's Ledger X. And there we go. Now, I could go on and on just looking for crypto in case maybe I dropped some other cryptos in there, but I didn't, right? But sometimes, like, I may have an old device laying around that I don't remember what was on there, right? So, you know, if you really want to do due diligence, you can just hit add account for every crypto that they support, and you might get lucky, right? Oh, yeah, I forgot I had some Digibyte on there from, like, 2017 or whatever. But now, uh, let's take a look at what we got here. I'm going to turn this camera off. Uh, so we have several accounts in here that are not associated with my ledger, but a different ledger. Uh, so he, this is how we manage multiple devices in one copy of Ledger Live. Now, unfortunately, when I go to Portfolio, it shows me the total of all of the accounts. Alex's and mine put together. There's really no way of separating them out in the portfolio section, unfortunately. But in accounts, I can clearly see which accounts belong to which device, right? This account obviously belongs to my Ledger Nano X, and this account belongs to Alex's Ledger Nano X. It could also be one of mine as well, and I could say Rex's other Ledger X, something of that nature, or Ledger Rex's Ledger XB, and then put a little, uh, you know, like a little uh, tag on this one that label, uh, a little label that says B, so that I can keep them straight. I know some people have multiple ledger devices and they want to manage multiple crypto and kind of they don't want to put everything on one device. They want to have more than one device. So they may have two or three devices. Um, and then they can put labels on the outside if you want so that you can keep them straight when you open your drawer and look at them. And then you can also like name the accounts accordingly so that you can tell them apart. Now, if I have Alex's device attached and I go to Polygon or look Cosmos and try to, you know, generate a receiving address, I'm going to get an error message because I have the wrong device attached. Even if it even if I install the Polygon app, right? But then it won't match this account because I this is not the device that created this account. This is Alex's device. The Polygon account was created with my my Ledger Nano X, right? So you, I'm going to get an error message telling me that this is not the right device. This is the wrong device of the wrong configuration, right? So Ledger remembers, right? E even if I mess up my labeling system, no matter how meticulous it is, I might make a mistake. But Ledger never will, right? Ledger knows because it's cryptographic that you know, the, which device is attached. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.